In this video we're looking at the teacher only space in OneNote class notebooks. When you get to the end of a term you may wish to move some of the older content into the teacher only space. And what this will do is not lose that content but remove it from student access in the content library. So at the moment I'm in the content library for a class notebook. And this is an example where I want to remove my term 2 tab and put it into the teacher only space. That means that students won't see this term 2 tab anymore in the content library. The first thing we need to do is to go up to the top of our class notebook and see if we have the teacher only space added. Now you can see that it does exist in this class notebook. So that's my teacher only space. If we go back up to the top of the class notebook it was located in this section group. If you can't see that next to the content library, then this is how you add it. Click on your class notebook tab and manage notebooks. When the page loads, any notebooks that you have, whether they're open on your laptop or previously created, they're all going to appear in this listing here. And as you go down, you can see teacher only section group in the details for each and every OneNote class notebook. In this case here, it's been enabled. But if I find another one, such as this one here, you'll see a link that says enable teacher only section group. And when I click on that, we'll see a short message and that section will be created in this OneNote class notebook. Now this is not instant. It may take one to two minutes for this section to appear in your class notebook. Having done that, you can either go through and enable the teacher only section groups in each other class notebook or close the browser window. So now we're back in our class notebook. If I go into my content library, I want to move term two into the teacher only space. So I'll select it, right click, move or copy. Here's the class notebook and I'm going to place it into the teacher only space. At the bottom you've got the option to move or to duplicate and copy. And obviously we are going to move it. So I'll click this button. You can see in the teacher only section the term 2 tab is now here. If I go back up and into my content library it's been removed. And you can go ahead and continue to do this for any other sections that you want to remove from the content library. Having done that, the students' notebooks will sync and these tabs and any pages and resources will be removed. This is also a very useful practice if you've assigned revision work and you want to make sure that that revision is not distributed further than your class.